Edgar Gonzalez here from TrueSight Server Automation Team. One common query regarding Windows patching on TrueSight Server Automation is how can you uninstall a patch that was previously installed on a target server. You can only uninstall patches that were installed using TSSA or the patch exists on DPAT. And there are two ways to accomplish this request. Please note that there are some patches that you will be unable to uninstall if specified by Microsoft and others which are not recommended by Ivanti like cumulative updates. Even when it is possible to uninstall per Microsoft, it is not recommended and will be unavailable on TrueSight Server Automation because of the potential for issues. The first way to uninstall a patch is by the job remediation that was used to install it. You can go to the job results. In this example, there were 10 patches missing. On the results for remediation, by selecting the target, you can see the item details on the commit section. You will see the details of the patches that were installed on this execution and the Windows error in case of a failure. On the screen, you can see that there are 9 installed patches. One failed with error code 2359302. You can convert to hexadecimal, explain on another video from BMC and find out the real message using Google. If you right click on commit, you can see an option to undo. If you Click, you will see a confirmation specifying the build package used to install, and it will uninstall all of the patches. Using this option, there is no way to uninstall a single patch. You can only remove all the patches installed during remediation. Once the job is over, and after you refresh the results, a new section called Rollback will appear next to commit. This will have all the details of the request to uninstall. If you right click, rollback and if you go all the way to the right, you can see the status of success or failure for each patch. An example, we were able to remove only one patch and the others are showing us fail. If you go to the description, you will see a message of why it was unable to uninstall the patch. The ones that fail for this example is because the uninstallation of the package is not supported. The second option is to uninstall a single patch if it was installed using TrueSight Server Automation and you will require the patch to be on Depot in order to uninstall. For this, you will need to live browse the target, expand the hotfix section. This could take a while to retrieve all the information. But once it is there, you will be able to see all the patches installed on this server. You will need to right click on the desired patch and select uninstall. This will bring a pop-up window to select the machine software, to uninstall and the action. Click OK and select the machine software for this patch. You will see a similar folder structure as on the Depot. Once you select the patch and click OK, you will be prompted for all the details in order to create a new job. like name, save in, the software and details to uninstall. You also have the option to add more patches in this section in case this is required. The target, in case you need to uninstall the same patch to different targets, and all the usual things for a deployed job. Once you finish this part, the job will be executed and you will be able to see the results the same way you do on another deployed job. Right click to commit and select item details and the status of the patch will appear. Thanks for watching this video.